Thank you. My name is uh, George Bettel and I'm moderating uh, workshop number one. And in workshop number one, we are we are dealing with the core requirements uh, for TVET uh, because of the uh, digit, uh, digital transformation. Uh, because of the paradigm change, which is. Which is going going on. And the main question is how TVET should react how TVIT centers should react, how planners of TVIT uh, should react because of all these uh, changes. And we have uh, selected five presenters. Uh, some of the presenters will give us an, give us an overview and on the requirements uh, relevant with a focus on, on industry. And some other presenters will uh, present solution. That means answers of their institutes to deal with the requirements of industry uh, for zero or with a digital uh, transformation, however uh, you call it. Uh, a few words to the organization of our uh, workshop. Uh, the presenters have around uh, 12, 12 minutes. Uh, they, they know about this uh, for their presentation. And after this, we have a few minutes for direct questions uh, to the presenters. And uh, when all the presenters are, are finished, we have another 15 minutes, 45 minutes, 50 minutes for an overall uh, discussion on the different uh, topics. And we have a, a few minutes uh, for, for creating the summary uh, for, the for the final panel uh, dis discussion. Uh, to get documented what, what's under discussion in the workshop, for this uh, we have a rapporteur, Mr. Rackpur. He is also one of our presenters. He is uh, acting in a double double function. Uh, he will he will act as a rapporteur as, as well, as I have mentioned. And when it comes to the documentation, he will come in with a concept board. And uh, in this situation, he will say a few words to it and will explain the procedure. We have, an, we have technical support from uh, Jochen Sontag, so he's operating in the background. If we if we have any uh, problems with the technology, if we struggle, he will come in and will uh, support. And uh, two more informations are important. Uh, you have seen already that there is a chat room available. You can make use of this chat room when you, when you have questions. Uh, and we, we hope you have a lot of questions after the presentations that we have a, a successful discussion. And a recording is going on. You can see this line just now that the recording is going on. So if you participate, you also accept that, for example, your statements are uh, recorded. So that's all I what I have to say to the organization. That means uh, now we can uh, start with the first uh, presenter. Uh, Mr. Mr. Zinke, are you are you around? Ah, yeah, so slides are uh, coming in. A few yes, words. Yes, I am. Good morning. Yeah, thank, thank, thank you very much, uh, uh, Gert, and, and good morning. <laughs> A few words before you actually start. Uh, Mr. Gert Zinke is a, a senior uh, researcher in the federal. Uh, TVIT Institutes in, in Germany, that means BIP. Most of, of you know this uh, federal institute as, as BIP. And uh, just now he is responsible for the evaluation of the what we call metal and electrical occupations uh, in Germany because of the digitalization. So a renewal process is going on and he is in a responsible uh, position. And uh, under this responsibility, he has to monitor the social partners for the redesign of the occupations, for example, it comes to this uh, point to redesign the occupations and to, to monitor uh, the social partners that, that they come to convincing uh, results uh, finally, finally. So he has a very important role uh, just now in this uh, transformation process, and he will come in with some empirical outcome of some research work and some thoughts uh, about the future uh, design of occupations, the future design of TVET as an answer uh, for the digital requirements. So, Gerd, the field is yours, the room is yours. Uh, you could start with your presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Georg, for your introduction. Uh, 
Good morning, everybody, or good afternoon to Asia and to the other part of the countries and of the world. Uh, in my presentation, I would like to provide a brief insight into the German discussion on future structural models of training occupations in response to digitization. Uh, please, the next slide. Yes. Uh, the German dual VAT system is currently characterized by around about 325 training occupations. The training occupations are the nationwide standards for initial training and also a benchmark for the German labor market. It's very important. Standard, that means the title, occupational title, the result-oriented occupational profile with competences, with outcomes, the duration of training, the time management, the instruments and requirements for the final examination, and last but not least, the curricula for in-company training and, on the other hand, because we have a dual system for vocational schools. The duration of training is usually three years, in the second part, many training ordinances are specialized. I would like to present some models using the metal and electrical occupation as an example. Two out of three apprenticeships occupations are mono occupations without specialization. My example for it, it is a mechatronic technician. But nevertheless, all companies, all schools have the opportunity to focus on their demands because the competencies inside the training ordinances are only a minimal standard. You can change and focus on your own demand, depend on the company demands. Second, there are occupational groups that are characterized by group-wide common competencies, also called core qualifications. Especially the second part is characterized by occupation-oriented competencies. Industrial electrotechnical occupations are an example of this. And the third group, these are standalone occupations with specializations in the second part. So far, we are proud of our system in Germany and we think it is good running. But the question will be whether it is also suitable for the future, especially one of the biggest challenges for the next few years will continue the, to be digitalization, but not only digitalization, also the background, the conventional uh, situation of our training system is uh, challenged. Next slide, please. Numerous studies have been completed on digitalization for training consequences the last few years, also by Mr. Spettel, by the way. One simple truth is that digitization does not suddenly take hold everywhere at once. This graphic, which was created as a result of a screening of different training occupations, also shows that. All of the training occupations studied are affected by digitization, but overall, more or less only about one third of jobs are high digitized. Next slide, please. The next slide, please. Yeah, thank you. The methodological procedure in the mentioned studies was basically similar. First, the technology and jobs changed by digitization were examined, and the conclusions were made in the second step for future competence profiles. As a result, we came to three main understandings. First, like I mentioned before, digitization is arriving at the skilled workforce unevenly. Second, digitization is changing occupational profiles at the core. This is similar, like Mr. Binning has mentioned, uh, in, uh, in relation to the TVET teachers. It is the same case for the, for the skilled workers, for, for, for the technicians. And third, Digitization does not call the professional concept into question. We are, uh, we are sure the training concept, the concept of a profession of occupation will be hold for the future too. Thank you. Next slide, please. 
Research studies are one thing. Practical implementation is another. The renewing of training ordinances is running permanently in Germany. And Mr. Spöttl mentioned it. It is organized and responsed by the social partners. Together with ministries and together with the BIBB. For individual training ordinances, this means that they are updated at intervals of 10 to 20 years. The examples shown at this slide indicate that the intensity and manner of change varies in the case of metal and electrical occupations. In 2018, only optional additional qualification were added in response to digitization. Another example you can see in the left column for the craft electrical occupations. We differ, by the way, between industrial and craft occupations in electric and metal uh, occupations. The training regulations were fundamentally revised. This means that the occupational profiles were generally redefined. In this context, a new profile was created, which is directed on digital technologies processes and services. This is maybe a 4.0 profession. In parallel, there is still a, the classic electric technician. And so we will have in this case, depending on the level of digitization in the future, two different training occupations for the same subject, but uh, on different levels of digitization and on conventional technologies. Um, so I would like to describe this here for the next few years. Next slide, please. Oh, still the old, please the next slide. I see not. It is not running. I switched already. But on my screen, I have the old one. OK, I try again. OK. But nevertheless, in the next slide, I would like to show again some features of the mentioned additional qualifications. Duration, eight Can you see it? Sorry. No. Nevertheless, I will speak further. Uh, uh, currently, we make an evaluation according to the additional qualifications, and we see the acceptance of the additional qualifications in Germany is very low. We have only around about 100, 150 examinations for this qualifications. Yeah, you see now the characteristics here, and so. The question is, what will bring the future and what can be the next steps? In my mind, it shows again, digitization is not just an add-on. Instead, as I already mentioned, it is changing the core of occupational profiles. The separation between metal, electrical and IT professions will be further relativized by digitization. Just now, we organized regional workshops with trainers and uh, responsibles for training and we get a large feedback about this trend and about these changes. In preparation for the next renewal of this training regulations, we therefore need to answer the following questions. Next slide, please. So the questions are and Sorry, but we can't see the slide. But I can read it for you. Also, the first question is, which individual occupational profiles are necessary? How are they to be tailored and differentiated? And we have to look at all, at the metal, at the electrical, and also on the IT occupations. Is an even greater differentiation of occupations into conventional, next question, and 4.0 occupations necessary and advantages for the future. Maybe we need the two levels also in the industry. 
in which occupational groups will these occupations be combined in the future? And what common training content should be at the start of training? We have to discuss what is the future core competencies and what is the basic training. Maybe we will start with the uh, uh, additive technologies because this is so interest for the trainees to get the impression for construction, for planning, for creating and to produce products by 3D or by additive technologies. And last but not least, which structural elements for differentiation, such as specializations, elective qualifications or additional qualifications are suitable? Do you, maybe we, we also I, I, I would like to uh, give you an example. Maybe we should bring up a more modelized system with modules, especially in the second part of the training, which are changing and can be selected by the training companies independent from the occupation. But this is a, maybe a too difficult and too special, special question for outside of Germany. But I would like to explain this. Due to time constraints, I cannot explain or comment this in more detail here. But thank you for your, uh, for your uh, attention. And if you have any questions, please also use my email contact and uh, contact me. Thank you for your attention. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much, Gerd, for this insight into the German development, how, how the reaction is going on in Germany to renew the occupation, to be, to be up to date in the direction that the industry accepts uh, the occupations and is participating further on in, in the training. Uh, I hope there are some questions around. If you don't mind, I would like to start uh, with, with the first uh, question because you have mentioned one interesting uh, statement. You, you have said that the core of occupations are completely changing uh, because of the transformation. Does, does this mean that new occupations will be established under the roof of Industry for Zero, which, which was not under discussion up to now? Yes, but the question is, what is the, the best uh, time point or the time window for changes and how will we bring this on the job floor? And uh, therefore, I think we have to try some pilot projects and maybe the, uh, the craft sector for electronics, this is also a pilot sector for for us to see how it is running and how it is accepted. In the past, Georg, you know it, uh, we implemented also uh, new training ordinances, so-called Produktionstechnologen, production technologists. And maybe this profile was too early for implementation. Uh, and now it comes very slowly on the job floor. And so uh, it is a very important thing to react on the correct time. Thank you very much. Are there more questions around? I, I don't see questions in the uh, chat room just now. Uh, here is a, sig a signal from Miss, Mr. Or, Michel, or Mrs. Büchel. Please ask your question. Mr. Ah, Bichel, yeah. Mr. Bichel. Hello, everyone. I didn't see your first name. <laughs> ah, Sorry. okay. Well, yeah, please. Uh, okay, please. Um, I, I have a question to this uh, module approach you just mentioned by the end of your presentation. Um, quite interesting. Could you just give some more insights, just very briefly, short? Because I think w when it comes to curricula, to like man uh, organize curricula, this module approach might be really the future that. Uh, either companies can change, uh, can like choose their modules, which they need, which they would like to um, teach to their um, employees or uh, students. And also, um, yeah, first, first this, please. It would be nice. Thank you. Okay, thank you for your question. Uh, also, in the in the present, currently, uh, companies 
choose their own modules inside of the training ordinances and also additional qualifications created by themselves or using by the chambers of commerce, for example, and so on. Uh, there are a lot of offers and of opportunities, but uh, the question and the problem is this additional modules or these modules are only supported by the training companies, but not by the TVET schools, because the TVET schools are not included and have not the time frame for uh, additional qualifications and also not the response. And this is maybe the biggest challenge to bring up a module for or, or a model for uh, modules, which will be also supported by the TVET schools. Therefore, we need another understanding of the collaboration between the both training venues or learning venues, TVET school and training company, and maybe also an inter-training company center. Thank you. I think this was a very detailed answer uh, to your question. Even if something more is behind your, your question, it's your question is dealing with the substance of the, of the German structure of, of, of TVET uh, training. Uh, I don't see any further questions now. That means we, we can move to our second uh, presenter. Our second uh, presenter is Mr. Nguyen Kan Kong. I hope the pronunciation is uh, correct. Uh, he's uh, coming from Vietnam and he's a rector of Lilama 2. And Lilama 2 is an international technology uh, college in Fiat, Vietnam. And uh, this college is one of the top 10 uh, TVET colleges in in Vietnam, and uh, Mr. Ngen is cooperating with GIZ since all, already 20 years, uh, and established a TVET uh, training related to Industry for Zero. And in his speech, he will report about this implementation process and, and the structure and the concepts uh, which were implement, uh, implemented. So, very welcome, Mr. Nguyen Kan Kong, and uh, you could start with your presentation. Yeah, thank you, Dr. Jack Spohn. Um, uh, thank you for your short uh, introduction about me. I'm uh, good afternoon from uh, Vietnam. Uh, I'm uh, from uh, Lila Matu, yeah, one of uh, visit uh, colleagues uh, in a Vietnam, in vocational college in Vietnam. And uh, from uh, since uh, 2012, uh, uh, Lilama 2 supported by uh, uh, German ODI funding, and uh, we build and we establish the set of salon in Vietnam for the four occupation. Yes, um, and today very happy to uh, uh, give you the best practice uh, in your uh, uh, Lilama 2 vocational. Uh, next, next slide, please. Next slide. Uh, today I um, want to uh, introduce uh, seven uh, topics. Um, please, next. Um, as you know, uh, uh, not only uh, Vietnam and also the world, uh, uh, industrial portfolio interest a lot into any uh, field, and uh, it um, bring uh, some uh, new occupation, a uh, new job, and affect to all of our activity. And just why it, it affect to your, your job, affect to your work qualification. Um, for prepare for your your. your uh, uh, the children, the more important, much, uh, more close uh, cooperation with the uh, business sector is uh, priority for your develop your vocational system. Meet uh, 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 with your four four zero. I think you next slide. 
Um, uh, as you know, um, uh, Lila, Lila Matu uh, now, uh, uh, since uh, 2012, we uh, uh, funded uh, by German ODA and in firm of GIZ uh, TVET program and uh, DPP projects. Uh, Lila Matu uh, has started to offer um, not only the in initial uh, training program from the uh, requirement for four euro, and uh, we uh, train uh, for students, we train, train for your trainer, and also we uh, train for your uh, e-company trainer. Um, because Lila might have uh, two functions, on, on in the train for your initial uh, training, and also we have your uh, um, uh, function in your support, uh, uh, TVET in your Vietnam uh, system. So uh, we not only uh, your train for your, your, your student, also we prepare uh, short training uh, for your worker and also your technical uh, in your industrial for, uh, industrial uh, in your industrial field and also in your business sector. Um, your teacher, also your teacher and um, your trainer. Uh, not only in your your your, your DVET institution, also in the in company trainer. Uh, you know, Lila Matu. Now we uh, implement the CVT, uh, CVT in meaning uh, corporate professional training, very close with your company to train. So your in company trainer in one important part uh, for us when we cooperate with them to train in your, your, your four point euro also. Thank you, Dr. Black. Um, uh, first approach today, um, uh, I uh, go to your four factor. And you know, your first factor is your uh, trainer, uh, teaching staff. And the uh, um, first of all is your uh, Trainer staff is very important in the technical and also in the didactic uh, for your training. Uh, meet the requirement uh, with the proper euro is a very important. The second, I uh, go to your training program. Training program must require the proper euro uh, oriented, uh, follow the German standard and also your examination standard. Uh, only in your four occupation. Uh, we uh, supported uh, equivalent uh, German standard uh, in a mechanical, industrial, electronic, metal cutting, and so yeah, construction mechanic. Uh, also, we prepare uh, uh, equipment, training equipment, uh, meet uh, with the four point zero um, requirement. And the last one, uh, how we implement. Uh, adaptive training program and also uh, include uh, assessment and examination. Uh, next, next slide. Uh, to uh, capacity development of the TFET trainer and also your in company trainer, the third of one we uh, uh, innovation teaching uh, and your learning. Uh, are we aware uh, for our trainer how to understand industrial change due to your portfolio? You know, it's a very important, it's a priority for your a trainer must aware. Uh, so yeah, if, if you're aware, you can change, you can adapt the training program and also you can develop your training equipment uh, or you can adapt the training program. Um, the second uh, is curriculum design for your for four year old work process. They must, under, they must understand, they must know, uh, your, your trainer must know inside how to prepare your, your how to design your curriculum. And uh, your third one, we must, uh, they must support, the trainer must support uh, some uh, uh, four point euro technical uh, for your training. Uh, for example, uh, uh, application for your CPS for four euro, and also you uh, know how you buy web server, cloud, um, everything. And um, of course, 
uh, you're able to understand some uh, uh, standard of course uh, in or either programming uh, in your CNC machine. Uh, in this one, we cooperate with um, uh, with the seamen, uh, with the seamen uh, 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 under the DPP project, and we have the DTEC room, and we can train for our students, uh, our trainer, how to understand the uh, code and standard in your CNC machine, for example. And the last one for the develop uh, train uh, trainer is very important in uh, didactical and e pedagogy. Uh, now in the COVID nineteen pandemic, uh, uh, in our college, do a lot of uh, teaching in the online uh, e learning, uh, uh, and we uh, now we develop for ourselves. Um, for our share platform for your training. Uh, so uh, your methodology, your e methodology must to train, very important for, for, for trainer and not only your, our trainer, also your, your in community trainer, you must to know how to implement uh, your new method, online method, e learning method. So very important. Next slide. Uh, uh, it is very important. Um, uh, it is important. Uh, my slide today: uh, how to adapt in the training program at uh, uh, Mr. Buschomarko and uh, Dr. Jack Ginko uh, discuss about the training program, how to adapt. And Lila Matu also now we have your four occupation. Uh, recognized by uh, uh, German Chamber Hadrika Airport, and we design again the training program uh, before we use some uh, subject and uh, module, and now we change on the training program to the module, chair module, uh, and chair module, and uh, we follow the uh, Vietnamese uh, regulation, uh, learning outcome of the Vietnamese, and also to follow the uh, ordinance, uh, ordinance of uh, uh, German uh, training ordinance. So uh, here we uh, separate the three level with the trail module. Very comfortable to implement uh, when we implement the, the training. The, 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 the training. Next slide. Next slide, please. Um, no, no, uh, batch. And uh, uh, the training program, we integrated Papa uh, Euro Affairs and also Print event, also the gender induction, very flexible, and it can applicate for the short term training course. Yes, uh, I will explain uh, why we easy to apply short term. Uh, training course. Please, next slide. As you know, for example, in the mechanical, we design, uh, we design in the trail module. In one the module, we integrate it for point zero factor uh, in the, 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 the uh, its module. And the student or the worker, they want to oppress very easy because uh, one module is uh, one specify one particular competency and skill and it means you can learn one module you can go to a work and continue uh, continue a study uh, this design very very flexible and uh, can uh, can can supply for your your, your long term learning on also for soft talk learning uh, for the company upgrade. Um, you see in the module trail uh, in the in the uh, pyramids of, uh, of the training uh, program in the in the top of pyramids in modern trail is more very uh, modernization and for the pop boy you know, yes how uh, yeah maybe it here uh, we can uh, integrate it here yeah, 
the smart uh, factory or design uh, or smart engineering very uh, high end in the top and so uh, student can get the uh, training program uh, to work for four year old if they uh, follow our training program we adapt for every uh, module next slide please and uh, uh, the third one for the equipment uh, you know equipment we have a three way to uh, to to uh, prepare for your, your uh, training uh, equipment the third one we cooperate with the business sector very important now little map two uh, cooperate with uh, both red road you see in uh, this uh, this picture from both red road they uh, transfer both they provide to uh, little map two for the training in the mechanic in the mechanical uh, in the mechatronics and also we uh, um, we cooperate with the cement for the cnc metal cutting we have the detect room and also uh, we uh, cooperate uh, with the dm remory for the uh, digital twin machine and we combine with the uh, cnc the real uh, real real equipment real cnc equipment with the detect room with the uh, digital twin uh, machine so uh, we will uh, we we recognize as very important to cooperate with the digital sector for prepare the, for your the training equipment to work for four year old the second our second way uh, we build for ourselves please next slide the second way we build for for, for we design for ourselves a little much too after they aware after they innovation uh, how to uh, integrate the for four year old to the training program they our teacher our trainer can uh can can uh, can 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 uh, uh develop the our training program so very uh the, on the third way we can buy a new one please next slide uh so um for your, your last one last slide um only shortly we we have uh, uh, three uh, factor and the last factor we, how to implement how to implement uh how to implement your your, your 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 training program and now we're very successful yet uh, we have um uh, from 2016 we have your uh, 139 student graduated and more than 300 uh 300 um uh, training will be trained uh, is it uh, in the zip module so we cooperate a lot uh, with the company, for example, very big, big company from a supplier, uh, ECSA, Thuận Hải, uh, and uh, for the, the, the training, and also for the training in the Popo Euro, we cooperate with the Boat Red Road, and also Siemens and MTS, also the DMV Mori. So um, the implement, for the implement Popo Euro training program, much to cooperate with the company is, is a core uh, core and it's a priority for the successful. Thank you so much. Thank you for so much and waiting uh, some question from uh, uh, you yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank, yeah, thank, you, very, thank you very much, Mr. Nguyen. It was a, a very good insight in, in your reaction as an answer to the requirements of industry uh, for Thero. And we have learned that you have support from from quite a lot of important uh, players. Uh, we, we still have room for one or two questions. At the moment, I don't see a question in the chat and I, uh, I don't see any signal. So I start with, uh, with the first uh, question. Uh, how do you identify the requirements for which you should train? Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, you know, um, for prepared uh, uh, adapted just training program, uh, yeah. we have a survey with the company. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, under the, you know, yeah, just support us, and we have the survey. Uh, we have uh, what is survey uh, to uh, let me see 10, 20 company around your, your, my area and identify 
what yeah, competitive uh, comp yeah, what the business sector needs for the portfolio. And after mm -hmm. that, we sit together and find out how we adapt our training program. And just mean we do, we implement our training program and we submit to the Habitat effort for recognize. Yeah, right? uh it it at that time and it's very important um uh, very important for for, for understand how your your business is turned in yes so th th that means you are very close related to the region in which your college is, is placed and to the in yes. industry in, in 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 this in this region is there any is there any thank you very much is there any further question not not for the moment uh, so, I'm, I'm sure there will be some more questions after all the presentations. So, 